Welcome to the potential difference return of acceleration Christmas demo, I guess, at uh, Papua New Golf Club. Here we have our regenerative acceleration generator prototype, which is operating at a steady state speed. We have our tachometer here. We have our meter measuring the input to our prime mover. And uh, what we're going to be showing is we're going to be showing conventional generator armature reaction. We're going to load the system with our conventional coil, conventional coil through our light bulb here. We'll create new acceleration. Then we are going to engage the regenerative acceleration coils in the prototype, and the system will accelerate. And we will be able to see the two different uh, performances that we get out of the system. So, let's bring this back here. So we have our steady state speed of 3266 RPM. I'm going to lower the input so that we are going to create deliberate system deceleration. So we're still on no load and I'm robbing the drive shaft of torque. So now we're, the drive shaft torque is actually, uh, the net torque is negative right now. We have our output voltage across the load. We have our current across the load. We put the conventional generator coil on now. And the conventional generator coil increases the deceleration of the system. And when it does that, the motor responds by delivering more torque to the drive shaft in an effort to prevent the deceleration. Now I've just engaged the regenerative acceleration coils in the prototype. The output across the load is now increasing. The current through the load is increasing, the voltage across the load is increasing, the intensity of the light bulb is increasing, the system speed is increasing, and the input current to the prime mover is going down. And that means that the prime mover is delivering decreasing amount of torque to the system, but the system is continuing to accelerate uh, with the load and the output power through the load is continuing to increase. And I'm going to let it go to uh, 3200 RPM. That should be there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to disengage the regenerative acceleration coils and we're going to see what our, what our uh, comparable conventional coil output is going to be. So right now we have 1.291 amps going to our prime mover. Now I've just disconnected the regenerative acceleration coils. We are now operating in conventional generator operation right now. The conventional generator coil is creating a counter electromotive torque 
which is working against the prime mover and the prime mover is delivering increasing amounts the prime mover stator coil is consuming increasing amounts of current it's delivering increasing amounts of torque to the drive shaft while at the same time the output from our load is continuing to decrease so we're going to let it go down to its final uh, conventional generator output and we're going to see the differential in uh, output to our load which is now at virtually zero volts and zero current and the the output the input to our prime mover is at uh, 3 3.89 amps right now So the prime mover is consuming the maximum amount of power and the output is zero. So in in conventional mode the generator in conventional mode the generator decelerated the system down to a steady state speed of about 100 rpm the output from our generator coil was virtually zero and the inputs to our prime mover at this point was maximum, whereas in the general acceleration mode, the system accelerated, the general acceleration generator created a complementary electromotive torque, which worked in concert with the original prime mover torque. The system accelerated up to the full speed of the motor delivered the maximum power to our load and the input to the prime mover at this point was minimal. And the next video that I'm going to do is a replay but I'm going to feed the output from the generator through this electric vehicle DC battery and that's coming up right after this video thank you